<laughs> we we fly in. Hi, I'm Eagle Eye Five. I'm Ozone. I'm competent. And I'm clueless. And we are back playing um, Yeah Unraveled One, and uh, we are getting ready to go into here. This is where last time. The first time we entered here at this thistle and weeds and uh, it said that we had gotten three out of five secrets. secrets and so if you look down at the bottom there are three little flowers one for each of the three little secrets that we got the placement is interesting so that would indicate to me that there's one very early on that we missed and there's one kind of mid late game that we missed. Yeah. So, yeah, interesting. And there's also flowers next to the picture, which I don't know why that's new. Yeah. But it is. So, so if we wanted to replay that level, we would go back in there, but apparently each new level gets a new frame. Yeah. And so since we want to end go to the next level we have to climb up here and go into this frame which is something i would not have realized had ozone not shown me <laughs> okay a little crab yeah how cute and so we did find like two memories or something i don't really understand what those things are that we collected they were like Article white ghosty type figures, mm -hmm. um, but that's clearly an important part of the game. Yeah. Background is very different than what we had before. Nice. It's good to see some more variety. Beautiful as always, of course. I mean, all of them are. Yep. There's another memory. Playing at the ocean. Okay, so I did see a yarny type thing way at the top. There is also one on the can pop tab in the trash. Oh. I don't think you go there yet. I think you go to the chair. Oh, did you make it? Not quite, but don't, close. don't they have a little sparkly line when you can grab them? But if you got a jump, then I guess that wouldn't show up. Yeah, it was there. There. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, we've come to find out when these things happen, there's usually a reason. Yeah, I'm guessing that, uh, hmm. I don't know. Can you not get to that? That's interesting. I wonder if you have to like stand on the can and then you can jump up there. Maybe. Whoops. I think you're under the seat right now, so you're like hitting your head yeah. on the bottom of the seat, which is different for a 2D scroller game. I mean, there usually isn't a 3D type aspect to it, but this is like 2.5D, I guess. <laughs> hey, I bet you could jump up to that uh, brick thing to your right now. Yeah, definitely. that down. Pull it down. Yeah, to me it seems like it's supposed to move. But maybe not. Oh. Okay. To it? Mm -hmm. I know. Okay. There's another tie off up at the upper left hand, sort yeah. of mid screen. Yeah. Ah! Oopsie. Nope. Oopsie poopsie. 
So do S and up to just climb up your rope because you've already tied off up there. I think that would be a lot easier. It looked like you were trying to go all the way around again, right? Well, I'm trying to figure out how I can push the can up the hill so then I can climb up onto the thing. But maybe I, maybe that's not right. Maybe I just climb up and... Yeah, I think you just jump over from here. The music's changed a little bit, too. There we go. Anyway, yeah, the music's oh. changed a little bit, too. I wonder if I have to recycle the can somehow. Can you fling yourself off the rope to the left? Or yeah, right, I mean? I probably have to. Jump and lasso. First and firstigen, firstigen. It's not an American word. Nope. <laughs> this might not be America. You never really know. But that would definitely feel like a uh, some kind of Baltic, Norwegian, whatever that yeah, area is. Yeah, it would look in kind of almost German to me. But, Maybe. Yeah, it might be Norwegian or something like that. If you're out there and you know, if that yeah. were, if that name looks familiar to you, let us know. Yeah, very much so. Right. It uh, might just be gibberish. Laura Mipsum. Laura Mipsum is a gibberish. It's. Uh, I know. Well, I mean, it's del it's deliberately um, non-word. Non-word. <laughs> Deliberately non word, huh? So, why are you going all the way to the right? I want to try and jump again. It is hard to know where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to do. And I guess that's part of the puzzle aspect of it. Okay. Jump lasso. Jump lasso. There's no way to run. There's not enough room, no. But I think I think you do have to like jump off to and jump to the left and then lasso. There it goes. Yeah. Can you... Okay. Oh, it's climb. You can just hit up and climb it. Yeah, it's that sparkly thing. It's that sparkly. Wee! Oh. Ooh. Oh, there's a kite stuck in the tree up to the left. Uh. God, I keep getting my left and right wrong. <laughs> 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 this looks like it might be another one of those Tarzan yeah. ones. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Wish me luck. Good luck. Okay. Run, jump, D. Run, jump, D. Yay. Yay. Now, you're uh, hitting that okay. branch, so yep, you can I actually get it. up on top of that branch, I think. Okay. Oh, oh I see. What? Go ahead. You do what you would think you need to do. Tie off. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Barely caught yourself. Yeah. We have found that Yarny can uh, die. Oh, yes. 
by falling too far. Uh, oh. yes. That's what I need. Well, I was trying to walk over to the left so I could tie off on that other branch over there. But there's no floor to the left. Apparently <laughs> not. You can just lasso it and then tie off. Well, that's okay. I can't. That isn't going to work, I think, anyway. It's not? That's what I thought you would need to do, is do the well, tie off and then no, jump. Well, no, because this branch here that I'm standing on is preventing my swing. So it isn't going to allow me to do a longer swing. Well, I need to come over here to do a longer swing, I think. You, you jump. You would use the springy, boingy jump. But... Oh, springy, boingy jump. <laughs> okay. Uh, S up. I think you just need it up at that point. You don't need S, but I could be wrong. Okay. Lasso. Up. Up. Yeah. Yeah. It's got it's got the particles. Yes. Springy boingy jump. And so I think you gotta just yes, uh -huh. land on that branch over there. Whoops. I love the glint of the water in the background. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's so isn't it? very relaxing. Yay! Yay! Okay, see the knots at the end? Uh huh. He's out of string. I know. I know. So we gotta go back and redo it to get more string. I think, I think you might have to go all the way down to the uh, bench because you don't wanna be wrapped around that, that branch. Yarny looks so thin now. We don't have a good close-up, but you can definitely tell that Yarny is thin. Well, I don't know how else. Yeah, I don't know that you can get back. You might have enough if you tie it, yeah. Yeah, do the tie I think off I'd here. do it this way. See, I think when you did your first jump, instead of doing the Tarzan lasso to lasso thing and mm -hmm. coming up on the second one, I think you could have just come straight up on that first one. Ah, uh, it's still. It's still not enough. Oh, oh there you got it, is. it. You made it. Whew. Close. All right. Yeah. yeah. Now what do we do? I don't. Now well, I've the kite. Now I have to. Ah, shoot. Oh my. Yes. Oh, at least it was a safe. Yay. Oh, the my. game's save system is oh. difficult. Oh. 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 <laughs> We we fly in. <laughs> oh well, apparently we flew too much. Oh oh okay. You gotta stop somewhere in between, huh? Well, I I did take all my fingers off of the keys, so oh, well that because <laughs> I thought maybe it was like essentially a cutscene. Ah, but apparently not. 
I did notice lots of yarn was coming out, so there's that. All right. So let's see. Run, jump, let go. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> let's try that again. All right. Run, jump, lasso. Run, jump, lasso. Okay, keep hanging on, I suppose. Right here, this is where we're supposed to. What, how do you know? I don't know. It just looked like a good landing point. But clearly we can't keep riding it all the way to the end. Apparently not. Okay, run, jump, lasso. Run, jump, lasso. So the things in the background are definitely kind of fuzzy. Right. And as we fly along, here's some branches right here. So let go here. Oh, interesting. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I think we're close. Jump lasso. So if you let go of D, do you just fall straight down? One jump lasso. Well, you're getting better and better at that. Yeah, but I have to say run, jump, lasso. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Oh, no, the, we were we needed to be up here is where I thought we were last time. Do you have control over it? Do you have some elevation mm. control, like up and down? I don't think so. I suppose I could try and swing with him. Yeah? And jump lasso. Yeah, I feel like you're going... Ah... Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss of where we go from here as well. We're both scratching our heads at this. Ooh. I'm not seeing anything that looks like a, a connection point. But I feel like you're falling much earlier than you have in the past. And so you have some control over how long you stay in the air or how you do that. And I don't know how that works. I would, can you still swing? Shall we take a break and cut to the cut when we figured it out? Your choice. again to unlasso and nothing is hitting nothing is happening if I hit D again okay what if you do like up and down um, on the number pad as you're flying well I was doing back and forth to swing more yeah but maybe you just need up and down or maybe let's see down should oh we are definitely going higher here yeah. Okay. Oh, that was a tie-off spot. Oh, okay. Okay. And it got stuck. Yes. So, and what were you doing there? You were doing I up, was doing right? up. Up. Okay. Oops. Jimmy freaking Christmas. Run, jump, lasso. So, figured if you push up, it takes you way up high. You get a lot more control. And there is this lasso spot, but I can't connect. The lasso spot is the kite, but the kite gets uh... stuck. 
So when you let go of D, you let go of the kite. And maybe you're not supposed to get it stuck. Maybe you're supposed to dodge the branches. So you want to let it go down to dodge these branches and then go back up to keep from going too low. Do oh. Yes, yes, that seems to be the ticket. Okay, didn't know we were playing Flappy Bird in this. No. Okay, so there's yarn there's up ahead. Yarn. Yay, good Yay. job. Yarny's getting a little thin. Yes, there's more yarn up there. I pointed at the screen because you all can see that, right? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, so apparently it's Flappy Bird. Up. E, tie off. Jump Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, see, look, Yarny is very thin right there. Could you yes. see it? Yes. Okay. Left jump. There we go. Up, 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 up. Come on. Enter. And that's where the knots come in. The knots tell you when you're almost to the end. Okay. Oh, okay. Phew. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe the, um, well, you don't have anything to tie off onto, but you could do like the jump down to do a controlled descent. Or the, yeah, the, the space and then down arrow. Okay. I will say that my fingers are sore from pressing the key so hard. <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely something that I feel like uh, as a gamer you get a more gentle sense of touch, you know? A more gentle sense. Yeah, it definitely. I've definitely had many games where it's been like that too. Oh, there's a tie off to yes. the right and a save point to our left. It's not a save point, I think. It's just yeah, it's more got this spinny disc around it. Oh. I think you might have to drop like further out on the branch where you've tied off, maybe. Are you, you pressing down? I'm trying. There it goes. And then swing into yep, it. Yep, I'm working on it. Yeah, okay, sorry. Captain Obvious here sometimes. <laughs> Lasso it. I think you gotta jump to it. Oh, you hit your head on the branch. <laughs> she is physically swaying in the chair here, too. Yeah. <laughs> it certainly does help to get used to the rhythm of it, you know? Oh, yay! Yay! Woohoo! I think, I think this is a good point. You know, we've hit the save point. It's about the right time. For these okay. episodes, I think we're having to cut them short a little bit shorter than we normally do. Yeah. But given the save system yeah. of the game, we can't just arbitrarily 
stop playing yeah. and then come back at that point. Yeah. So I f let's we're gonna call it here. And uh, what so what do you think about that episode? How do you? F this is me saying bye. <laughs> <laughs> You're in your space, but bye. <laughs> No, seriously, how, how do you feel like you did in terms of playing it? Do you feel like... Better you can... this time, yeah. but um, still, I think it's going to be a lot harder. Yeah. I think it's going to continue to get a lot harder. The game will definitely progress. But yeah. you feel like... It feels to me like you're getting more comfortable with yeah. the controls. Yeah. And that's a good thing. Good place Hopefully to be. Hopefully it's a slightly less nerve-wracking to you banging your head against the wall, watching me bang my head against the wall. You know, that's the problem where you have a level that is so seamlessly integrated with the background because it's really hard to tell what is part of the level and what mm -hmm. is part of the background sometimes. Right. What is part of the scenery. You right. Know? And, um, I mean, it's beautiful in the way that it is integrated like that. It makes yeah, the really... artwork of this game is spectacular. But it does make the puzzle aspect of it more difficult knowing what's game and what's not right so yeah and i think that might be a, a a subtle point that people don't necessarily see or or understand into you know it's not intuitive right yeah this so. game is definitely not always intuitive yeah um i mean and especially for somebody who's new to gaming yeah there have been about four or five times in this game where I would have quit had you not been here to like provide me a nudge or flat out come over and take over the controls a little while or, or something, mm -hmm. you know, because at this point in my gaming career, I kind of feel like, or at least in my past, I have felt like it's not a matter of, um, is it a good game or not? I always assume the game is good and I'm just a terrible gamer. I always put the blame on me mm -hmm. and not on the game. You know? Well, that's I part figure of too, I if, suppose. Yeah, I always figure if I can't do something that it, me being a bad person, gamer and not the bad game being a bad game yeah you know yeah so and there is an entire genre of games out there where the controls are intentionally difficult mm -hmm. but i don't think this is intending to be no. in that genre it just kind of is yeah so well anyway that's an interesting discussion i hope you <laughs> enjoy it uh we'll pick up here in the next episode and until then, remember, be excellent to each other. We're out. Yeah, it's not working. Hit F12.